Hi, this is Sarah. I'm going to give a Twin Flames reading for today. The Divine Feminine will be in the Everyday Witch Tarot, and the Divine Masculine will be in the Halloween Tarot by Kipling West. Deborah Blake did the um, Everyday Witch realm. Alright, let's see. We're not going to do shared energy. They're not sharing energy. <laughs> no, they're always sharing energy, but... These are the only decks I have with me. I don't think it's fair to... We'll do one shared energy from each. Okay, one shared energy from the Halloween is the Knight of Bats. Both coming forward with the truth. Feel the truth about their feelings. And then the masculine's energy today is four of ghosts, not ready to take the love, right? Just kind of keeping his arms crossed to a lot of different offers. I don't feel this is the divine feminine's offer. I think he's getting like emotional um, offers from other people and he's kind of like closed off to them. Um, he also is keeping secrets. His secret is how much he desires to be in this castle with his feminine or, you know, go to visit her and maybe she lives on a hill or something or maybe she just, uh, is very far at a distance. I feel this is a great distance. He's yearning. He might have the kind of dog. He might be a Scorpio. These are just symbols that are popping up to me. There's also a black cat there. Um, I feel like that's a spirit guide. All right, so then there is a lot of drama. I already feel this energy with the ghosts because they're kind of bugging him when he's just trying to relax under the tree. Um, but like, they're all just fighting amongst themselves. The Divine Masculine is nowhere in this image. So it's not really affecting his energy, but he's aware of it. Um, he is kind of sneaking away, trying to get away with something or trying to um, be greedy in some way, taking all the bags of Halloween candy. You know when they say at the Halloween houses, like, just take one and then someone takes, like, a whole bunch? That's the energy here. And one more for the Divine Masculine is uh, love. Yeah, he's so in love. Ace of Cups. He's not doubting it anymore. He's just like, this is how I feel. It's, it's beautiful energy here. I think those are lilies. Alright, bottom of the deck is the King of Imps. He keeps coming up as the King of Wands. Um, could be a fire sign, or it could just be someone who's very passionate, very fiery energy. Okay, now we have the feminine energy. I don't know if any of you are into Memorial Day, but that's today. And I still have to work. So, if you're a veteran, I hope you heal from any traumas you faced, and I wish you the best. So this is the King of Pentacles and the shared energy for them. Um, so we have Knight of Bats and, and King of Pentacles, so it's actually very um, masculine energy that they're sharing. They're both kind of in a masculine energy, which tells me that the Divine Feminine needs to balance her emotions a bit, because she should be in a more feminine energy, but she's coming up still as like... She's still trying to have too much control over the situation, I feel. Um, instead of releasing that control or um, kind of surrendering, she still needs to kind of completely surrender. She's still a little bit anxious to let go. It's like a trapeze artist. Um, she is in a Nine of Cups energy, so she's starting to feel more relaxed and more faithful and more at peace. Um, so she might be doing some meditation, crossing her legs, you know. She's also in this Seven of Swords, so they're both kind of sneaking. Um, well, he was in a Five of Swords, but, like, it's still the same energy here, where they're kind of, like, sneaking around, being sketchy. And she's also uh, starting a new beginning. I feel this is just a fresh start, like, of Lisa. Um, this is the surrender moment, okay? This is when she lets it go and says, okay, God, like, what's it, what's it gonna be, like... Today I heard the message, um, God said, watch me work, let me work and watch me work. So that was the attitude. It was kind of like, sit back and watch, you know, don't you trust me? Um, so then she's doing that. She's having that trust. She's, she's allowing herself to be completely chained up and trusting that this is sort of bondage actually too, but you have to have so much trust in that situation. Um, okay, so then she's also giving to some karmic energies or, or learning some karmic lessons still um, as she as she surrenders and and she's trying to get out of this like defensive energy that she was in before. So that's past energy 
and she's thinking about her king of imps her king of wands it's the same um she sees him in the same way he seems he sees himself and that keeps coming up um, chaotic energy here but yeah they definitely both agree that he's uh a really passionate person, a really horny person. <laughs> it's very sexual energy here. Um, two more for her. She is also aware of this chaos. This is the same energy, five of wands, five of imps. Same card. And two decks. Or two birds, two robins just kind of eating really close to each other, like being so cute, really uh, nearby. Um, so yeah, like they're kind of, in this one it's funny because she's not, the divine feminine is not here either. It's like all the men are fighting against each other I don't know, beating each other up with sticks. All the women are arguing amongst themselves. They're all kind of like, why didn't our spells work? Why didn't the black magic we do work? We tried to hold the feminine back, but she's still, she still got the attention or got the eye of the King of Cups. So, I mean, yeah, she's probably this mermaid back here, like kind of just chilling in her, in her emotions because the ocean is like emotion. Um, so she's still in her feelings for him and he's still on the lookout for her. So it's really funny. I love that energy. And I love that he's on this sort of island and she came up in the Nine of Cups where she's just like waiting on the shore. So she'll, she'll swim out of her emotions. She'll be on the shore just chilling completely in the faith. And then he's going to see her at that point. That's when he'll spot her. When she leaves that overly emotional uh, kind of state. It's funny because she's in that overly emotional state. But she's also letting go. But she's also sneaking around. But she's also in this really masculine energy of still like trying to have too much control so it's like i feel she just needs to have some strength right now and uh balance her chakras do some energy healing for herself so that she can have the victory she already knows is coming i feel she's just nervous about this victory but she needs to focus on her passions and uh release any insecurity or fear regarding this connection like it will work out the way it's meant to yeah it will work out the way it's meant to in the right time in the divine time that's all I have today. I love you and I hope you have a safe and peaceful day.